We present a method for multi-resolution PalmDP planning to address the problem of multi-object search in 3D. My name is Kai Yuzheng, a PhD student at Brown University. Searching for objects is an important task for robots with many potential applications. In human environments, objects could be on the floor, tables, or shelves. The search space is naturally 3D. An intuitive search strategy in such environments is to first hypothesize potential search regions, then proceed to search carefully within each region. Ultimately, the success of the task depends on careful search within a search region, which is subject to limited field of view and partial observability of the object's location. This problem can be naturally modeled as a PalmDP, which is the focus of this work. We first briefly review some background on PalmDPs and object-oriented PalmDPs. PalmDP stands for Partially Observable Markov Decision Process, and it is a principled framework for decision-making under uncertainty and partial observability. This is especially suitable for object search because it can model realistic aspects of the problem, such as noisy detectors and unknown target locations. A PalmDP is formally defined as a tuple where S is the state space, A is the action space, omega is the observation space, T, O, and R are the transition, observation, and reward functions, and gamma is the discount factor. Due to partial observability, the agent maintains and acts according to a belief state, which is a distribution over states given history, a sequence of past actions and observations. Object-oriented PalmDP factors the state and observation spaces into independent objects. This allows the belief states to scale linearly instead of exponentially as the number of objects increases. Solving PalmDPs offline is impractical for large problems. The objective of online PalmDP planning is to compute a policy that outputs an action given the current belief, such that it maximizes the expectation of future discounted rewards. State-of-the-art PalmDP planners share the idea of approximating the full search tree with a partial search tree built by Monte Carlo Tree Search, a sample-based method. Notable algorithms include PalmCP, POUCT, and Deskbot. We build upon POUCT due to its theoretical optimality. Previous work have shown that searching for a single static object in 3D by controlling camera parameters is MP-complete. More recent works study object search in various settings modeled as a PalmDP but constrain the problem in 2D. Other works have considered 3D object locations but plan over a set of 2D viewpoints. In our problem setting, the robot is tasked to search for n static objects of known type but unknown location in a search region that contains static non-target obstacles. Objects are represented as collections of cubes or voxels. The search region is a 3D grid map, G, and the robot has access to detectors for objects that it is searching for. The robot can control the pose of its 6D camera and project a viewing frustum which has a limited field of view. An object is successfully found if the robot decides to declare found while at least one voxel of the object is within the robot's field of view. Here is an overview of our methodology. First, we propose 3D multi-object search, which is a all PalmDP to model the problem of interest. For efficient observation sampling, 3D MOS contains a per-voxel observation model. We then propose arbitrary belief representation, which maintains belief about target location and multiple resolution levels, while affords efficient exact belief update and sampling. Leveraging the structure of arbitrary belief, we derive abstractions of the 3D MOS problem at lower resolution levels, resulting in smaller PalmDPs. Then we plan to solve multiple abstract problems at different resolution levels in parallel and output the action by comparing Q values using POUCT. We call this algorithm multi-resolution POUCT. In this talk, we will cover the observation space model of 3D MOS, and we will motivate arbitrary belief and review its key advantages and go over the high-level idea and intuition about the multi-resolution POUCT planning algorithm and discuss some results and show robot demo. 
For complete details, please refer to our paper. The robot receives observation by projecting a viewing frustum through its mounted camera. We model the observation as a collection of voxel label tuples, where the label could be either an object label, 1 through n, free or unknown. Free indicates the voxel is free space or occupied by an obstacle. Unknown indicates the voxel is occluded, which contains no information about the environment. Under a given state, we can factor this observation by objects, while retaining the same information such that each observation for object i, oi, is a collection of voxel label tuples where the label is only free and i. However, modeling distribution over 3D geometry is difficult. Instead, we make a simplifying assumption for observation modeling where object i is contained within a single voxel. The result of this assumption is that the complex distribution of a voxel collection is transformed into the distribution over the label of a single voxel at the location of the object given in the state. We call this a per-voxel observation model. When the voxel corresponding to the object state si' prime is not in the field of view, the distribution is uniform. If it is, then the label of I indicates a positive detection, and otherwise it indicates a negative detection. This observation model allows for efficient sampling of observations during online MDP planning. Our multi-resolution planning algorithm implicitly addresses this assumption's downside of searching for objects of various sizes by planning at multiple resolution levels. Despite the use of a per-voxel observation model, the space of observation is still large for practical PalmDP planning. In this situation, PalmCP fails due to particle deprivation. Previous work worked around this by maintaining exact histogram belief representation. However, this representation is not scalable in 3D, and if the resolution of the search space G is dense, then possibly most of the 3D grid cells do not contribute to the search behavior, which wastes computation. To overcome those challenges, we propose a novel belief representation called octree belief. It can be constructed incrementally as observations are received. It simultaneously tracks object belief at multiple resolution levels, and it affords efficient exact belief update and sampling, and supports online PalmDB planning. Now that we have belief over multiple resolution levels, can we leverage that for planning search strategy? To this end, we propose a multi-resolution planning algorithm, MRPOUCT. The intuition is that the octree structure of the resolutions can be regarded as spatial state abstractions over object locations, which is then used to derive abstraction over voxel observations. This leads to smaller observation space and reduces the branching factor for PalmDP planning. Then, combining with move option, which moves the robot using multiple primitive move actions, we formulate an abstract 3D MOS model, which has the same reward function as the ground-level 3D MOS, which means they model the same task. Then, for planning, we first select a number of resolution levels and instantiate abstract 3D MOS instances. Then, these instances are planned in parallel using POCT. The Q value of these actions are compared and the action with highest Q value is selected for execution. In our experiments, we first investigate the performance of our algorithm as the problem size scales. To this end, we define the, a problem instance by a tuple M, N, and D, where M indicates environment size, N is the number of objects, and D is the depth of the viewing frustum. Sensor parameters are said to have very little noise. We evaluate the performance based on discounted cumulative reward and the number of objects found. We then investigate performance as the sensor model becomes more noisy. In this experiment, we use a fixed problem instance and tested performance under different alpha and beta settings. Note that alpha and beta are directly used to update the unnormalized probability in octree belief. Due to the octree belief update algorithm, a properly working sensor should satisfy alpha greater than 1 and beta less than 1, and with a greater gap indicating more certainty over the detections. We compare our method, multi-resolution POUCT, with several baselines. The first baseline, macro action POUCT, uses the resolution hierarchy for planning move options, but no abstraction in the state and observation spaces. POUCT is the baseline that uses no abstraction at all, and POMCP is the baseline that uses particle belief while being not object-oriented. And we also coded an exhaustive search strategy 
that traverses each grid cell and projects the viewing thrust in every direction. Finally, we have a random baseline that takes actions uniformly at random. Note that under the same computation budget, exhaustive and random can perform much more search steps than pomdp based methods. Here are some results for the scalability experiment. The x-axis is, is the environment size and the y-axis is the discounted cumulative reward. We see that in small size domains, exhaustive search works well, but as the domain scales, our method outperforms other methods in terms of discounted cumulative reward with statistical significance. For the metric of number of objects detected, we notice the same trend, yet the gain of our method in large environments is smaller. This indicates that our planning algorithm can plan more efficient search strategies, which leads to more advantage in discounted cumulative reward. Please refer to our paper for more results. For a sensor quality experiment, we observed that the performance of all methods decreases as the sensing uncertainty increases. However, our method maintains advantage over other PomDP baselines. Here shows an example trial in the problem setting of 8, 4, and 6. The total planning time is 240 seconds with 3 seconds per step. Here shows an example trial in the problem setting of 32416. The total planning time is 480 with 3 seconds per step. The field of view size is only 2.6% of the total search space. We implemented our algorithm on mobile robot. It is equipped with a depth camera and can navigate and move its torso up and down, facilitating a 3D observation space and a, and a 3D action space. In this implementation, we consider move actions to be navigations between topological graph nodes. And in this demonstration, the robot finds three out of six objects in two search regions in about 15 minutes. To summarize the main contributions, we formulate 3D multi-object search task as an OOPOMDP. Then to solve this problem, we propose an arbitrary belief representation and a multi-resolution planning algorithm. The main takeaway is that searching for multiple objects in 3D is an important problem that can be modeled as a POMDP. And such a large POMDP can be solved online efficiently and scales to real robot application by extending existing general PomDP solvers with domain-specific structure and belief representation. I'd like to thank all of these wonderful people and thank you for your attention. Lastly, please check out PomDP Pi, a general-purpose PomDP library developed during this project written in Python and Cython. That was the backbone of our implementations.